Greg Lucas, California State Librarian, and I'm joined by Dana Joya, the California Poet Laureate. And we're going to talk a little bit about Haiku. The State Library has an ongoing exhibit uh, showcasing our collection, which is the American Haiku Archives. It's the largest collection of haiku outside of Japan. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why haiku uh, is such a popular form of poetry. Well, it's interesting that you know haiku has become, over the last century, the probably the most widely practiced poetic form in English. I think it's overtaken the sonnet. And one of the reasons is that it's so simple. You know, it's only 17 syllables. It's the conjunction of, of two images. And it's an easy way for people to become introduced to poetry. And California's played, you were telling me, this has played a major role in sort of spreading haiku around the world. Yeah, it's very appropriate that the largest haiku collection outside of Japan is in Sacramento because the haiku really entered world literature via California. Uh, from this, er, this uh, Japanese poet, Yone Noguchi, who came uh, here over about 120 years ago and introduced it into English, and also the, the waves of, of Japanese immigrants who used it as really a, one of their social media, as it were. It was a, it's a literary form that's always had a social element. Uh, and it was even uh, important in terms of cohesion uh, culturally in the internment camps. So there's a long history of the haiku in California that has influenced world literature. 